All right, thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Nikki, for coming to see me today. Uh, <clears throat> as this is the end of semester, Charlotte has already sat her year 10 uh, Chinese test for the semester. Uh, that has all been marked, and just two days ago she's received her results. I also have a physical copy of the results here right now in case you would like to have a look and go through. Would that be all right? Yes, let's see it then. Wonderful. So for this test, Charlotte got 58% overall, but don't let that discourage you because she did very well on the listening and reading parts. Mm -hmm. In fact, as far as the class has gone, this is pretty much on average. She's done very well in those parts. Uh, as we have a look through here, what we were expecting uh, to see from all of this is students to be able to pick up the changes in tone and recognize different words in the listening part, which Charlotte has done very well in. Okay. Getting all of them right except for one. And in the reading part as well, again, we were expecting Charlotte to recognize different characters and their meanings, whether they were a noun or a verb and how they would fit in these reading passages. So this would be called a close. And Charlotte has done very well in that as well. So she's been able to interpret these parts and also for the reading as well, where she's had to answer a couple of questions. That's also been very good. Good work. So with locating parts of language, Charlotte has done very well, but with organizing it, there still needs to be a little bit of work done. So when we come up to the writing part right here, where Charlotte would have to organize these characters in the right order, uh, you've had a little bit of trouble. So you got this one right, which is great. The other ones you had a bit of trouble on. And with making sentences with these uh, three words, you got one of them right, which was Sui Ran Dan Shi, which we've done a lot of work on. Uh, for this character right here, which is De, which is normally used with verbs, you had a good go at it, so I gave you a mark. As we come over to the writing part right here, I was a little concerned uh, with the amount that you wrote. Uh, also, there was no real structure behind it. But other than that, I'm generally pretty happy with this. Uh, do either of you have any questions about this or Charlotte's progress throughout the term? How could Charlotte improve in that section where she needs to put more uh, effort into her writing? Well, as her effort is the sorry, as her writing is the part that needs the most work, what I would suggest is a lot of writing exercises over the holidays. It's mm -hmm. good that you bring this up because I have a lot of exercises that I can give Charlotte to scaffold her writing over the holidays. So the first thing that we're looking for is we're looking for structure. So if we're talking about a persuasive speech, uh, if we're talking about a recount, we want to break them down into paragraphs. And then from there, if you're giving reasons, we want firstly, secondly, thirdly, just like in English, but with Chinese. Mm -hmm. So even if you aren't able to write a lot, you're able to uh, break down your points in a clear manner so that an examiner or a teacher such as myself is able to clearly understand your work. So that's really the main thing. So I'd be able to provide little writing exercises, things to read over, so that Charlotte will be more familiar with what is expected during the writing part, and that she'd be able to organize sentences together, because she's very good at uh, recognizing what a text is saying and locating the necessary characters to make meaning. Uh, but with organizing them together, uh, we could scaffold that further. Charlotte, do you have any questions or comments? No. <laughs> no? How did you feel you went on this test? Um, I feel like I did okay, but mm -hmm. there was areas that I definitely could have improved on. Well, that's all right. Well, it was definitely a harder test than you would have had in year nine. And the reason that we were doing this, the, the reason why this is a bit harder is because we're trying to prepare you for year 11. Now, as far as I see, I think Charlotte can do very well in year 11 and possibly into year 12 as well. Would this be something that you'd be looking for, Charlotte and Nikki? What do you think, Charlotte? How do you feel? I think that I'll continue. Oh, that's good. Well, you've been a very enthusiastic student and your work with the listening section, also speaking in class, has been very good. You've been very involved. Yeah. And it definitely not only puts you on the path of fluency, but if you want to continue it as an adult, then you certainly have greater job opportunities and everything like that. And that's the kind of enthusiasm that we want to see for year 11 and 12. Yes. So we certainly see a lot of progress going on. Yes. 
Uh, we certainly need more structure in the writing, mm -hmm. but as I said, I can help you with exercises that will mm -hmm. help you with that over the holidays. And I think by the end of uh, this year, you'll be well prepared for year 11. You'll be writing some fantastic essays and sentences. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank, thank, thank you, you for seeing us, Patrick. No worries. Let me know if you have any other questions or concerns or anything I can do for you. Child is a fantastic student. And don't let this be a reflection of uh, your general Chinese skills. This is just a, a point where we can go to the next level. So, well Great. done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.